Sentencing is on hold for the former Spokane police officer convicted of using excessive force. And now he might get a new trial. Thank you for joining us, everyone. More allegations tonight. A former Spokane police officer did not get a fair trial because of alleged prosecutorial misconduct. Carl Thompson's defense team says their client's conviction should be overturned because U.S. attorneys withheld evidence in the case and misled the grand jury about Thompson's guilt. One of the United States' own expert witnesses is saying his analysis of what happened between Thompson and Otto Zim in this surveillance video was misrepresented in federal court. With a story you will see only on KXLY, Jeff Humphrey joins us live. And Jeff, Carl Thompson says he deserves a new trial. And Robin, court documents that we received today show that Carl Thompson could very well receive a new trial. Grant Fredericks, a video analyst who is supposed to be one of the prosecution's best witnesses, never testified and now accusing the United States of falsifying his findings. Yeah, I would say the way that she's sort of reacting there, she probably doesn't know. Brent Fredericks was hired by the city of Spokane back in 2006 to analyze the video captured during Carl Thompson's altercation with Otto Zem. Fredericks provided a frame-by-frame -frame review and was supposed to serve as a witness for the prosecution in Thompson's recent trial. But now More Fredericks is saying the United so States DNA. withheld evidence that could have benefited Thompson's defense. If a government lawyer hires an expert, they, they might have information from that expert that's not going to be privy to the defendant. And so they're obligated, if some of that information might suggest innocence, they're obligated to disclose it. Fredericks detailed the way the United States allegedly misrepresented his analysis in this statement filed in federal court. Prosecutors wrote that Fredericks would testify that Thompson hit Otto Zem with a baton almost immediately after entering the zip trip. But Fredericks says at least 23 seconds passed before there's even any evidence of a strike. Fredericks adds he was also misquoted when the government alleged the video shows the baton strike that knocks Zem to the ground. However, U.S. attorneys say they did make the defense aware of Fredericks' exculpatory concerns in this FBI report on March 1, 2010. They've also said in, in their response that not only was it presented to the jury, but it, that information was given to the defendant's attorneys long before the trial. However, Thompson's judge is concerned enough about the possibility that evidence was withheld that he's delayed sending Thompson to prison. The defense has motioned for a new trial and perhaps closer than ever before to getting one. It's potentially very significant, but again, we won't really know that until there's further discovery. And that further discovery won't happen until this court decides whether or not it's going to release Fredericks from a confidentiality agreement that he signed with the United States. And because of that, just today, the judge in this case postponed Carl Thompson's sentencing indefinitely. Reporting live at the Federal Building, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. Jeff, thanks so much. If Thompson can't get a new trial, his attorneys hope to greatly reduce his sentence. Prosecutors initially felt they could put Thompson behind bars for about eight years. Now, a pre-sentencing report recommends the veteran officer only served 27 to 33 months. Thompson's defense team argues that their client is ready to take responsibility for using excessive force against Otto Zem. But prosecutors say Thompson still feels he didn't do anything wrong and simply is trying to spare himself from a longer prison term. If you'd like to read the new court documents, you can head to our website. It's KXLY.com.